everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So, in another video I'm working on, I need to spray up a few little bits and bobs for it. And the, we're not having the greatest weather outside, which means I can't exactly take it outside to spray it up. So my idea was to create a small, collapsible spray booth. So let's take a look at the materials that I'm going to be using. Okay, so the main material I'm going to be using is something called Stormlight, and it's this thin, flimsy PVC stuff, and I'm unsure what it's called in other countries, but here it's called Stormlight. And obviously this is a bit too flimsy, so I'm going to have to reinforce it with something. And what I've decided to use is this builder's board stuff. And Rob's talked about this before, and I'm pretty sure it's called Citra board in the US. And all I'm going to do is build a little frame around the Stormlight to give it some reinforcement when we attach the hinges. So now it's time to reinforce some of this Stormlight. This is actually really easy. What I'm going to be doing is some, is some simple butt joints. So I'm going to put the top ones on first, and then I can measure out how big these pieces have to be. So, let's glue that on. So, and that's the first one glued on. So I'm going to glue the other side and then I'll show you how to put these side pieces on. Right, so all I'm going to do is push this all the way to the top and mark out where the builder's board has been glued down. Like so, and that gives me a line that I can cut to and that should fit perfectly. So I'm going to cut these two pieces out and I'll show you how nicely they fit. So now that these pieces have been cut to size, all we do is glue them into place. And there we go, they're all now glued into place. Okay, so what we've done so far is basically made some cloth hinges. So let me show you what this looks like when it's open. So this panel comes open, and this one does too. So all we've got to do is attach the fourth one to complete this box. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so how I'm going to do this is I'm going to grab my fourth panel, butt it up against the edge of the panel that hasn't got a cloth hinge on it, Flip it around so it's aligned, and you basically grab a nice bit of tape and run it along that joint. And when we know it folds up, all we've got to do is put another line of tape on the opposite side right here. So I'm going to do that now. Now I've got that fourth piece attached, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like when it's folded up and when it's actually set out into a box. So let's take a look. That's what it looks like when it's folded up, which means you can save on a whole load of space. And this is what it looks like when it's unfolded. Would you take a look at that? Right, so I've attached the last piece, so let's extend it and see what it looks like. And there we go, that's what it looks like. So the next step is to obviously put on some sort of extractor fan and over here I have already cut out a hole for it so all I'm going to do is make sure that it's facing the right way because we don't want intake, we want extraction. So I'm just going to glue that into place like that. So with the booth almost completed there's only a couple more steps that we have to do and one of which is put in a hook onto the top so we can actually hang the items that we want to spray. And I decided to go with a command hook, um, but I realised that the hook wasn't quite um, enough. So what I did is I melted the end and bended it, uh, it in a little bit more. So that should be able to hold the things that I want to hang off it. Right, so I'm going to attach it and then what we're going to do is attach a battery pack to the extractor fan and spray something up. Okay, so now the booth is pretty much completed. There's a bit of Bessie hanging in the front of it right here. And all we're going to do is switch on the extractor fan. 
make sure it's steady and give it a spray. Get the lid off. And there we go. And the good thing about this booth is that I'm hanging it up using a bit of string, which means I'm able to take this off, take it out, and look at the job that it's done. And once I'm happy with it, I can flip it around, hang it up, and do the other side. So let's do that. This extractor fan is working brilliantly, by the way. And now, we just leave that to dry. So that was pretty cool. And I really enjoyed making this. And my absolute favourite feature of this little spray booth is the fact how you're able to fold it up and literally put it anywhere. I think that is really cool. And with that being said, this brings me to the end of the video. And I really, really enjoyed making this. And I thought it was a pretty good idea. And it was definitely worth sharing. Anyway guys, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.